Hello everyone, good morning. This is my first YouTube lectures on technical paper writing techniques. So in this uh, paper I will de demonstrate uh, how to write technical papers, its different layers, how these layers are talk to each other in order to deliver the results. So I hope you will enjoy and in my future plan to deliver large number of academic lecture on uh, petroleum and industry and uh, uh, power utilities. Now on my next slide. Okay. I have started uh, my lectures from performance happiness model. So I did not start my lectures from objective vision and mission. I have started my lecture from performance happiness model. To achieve and unlock your potential what you have planned to deliver. In first segment if you see here so the contributions, conviction, culture, commitment and confidence. What contributions? What you do and what you have planned to do. Conviction is your a shorter motivation. Third, culture is your feeling fit to deliver the results or to take up the challenge. Commitment is your long term engagement. Number fifth, confidence is your level of self belief in order to deliver the result which you have a plan to do it. In my next slide, I will have the most important layer of my performance happiness model that is called the pride, trust, recognition. These are three segments are linked to each other and that is most external part of my performance happiness model. So how my contributions, my conviction, culture, commitment and confidence are linked to pride a trust and recognition to deliver what I have a plan to do it. That is most critical part of my happiness model. Now next slide I will talk about a technical paper objective and the technical paper objective first produce a writing to get the result the strong part of organization brand. First step or first element of your technical paper, understand the five steps, structure your writing material, working with language, what you have planned and what level language you want to use in your technical write up. Sometimes you use a <coughs> difficult style of writing English literatures so that is also create a sometime ambiguity. So keep a simple and more smooth to attract the readers. In fourth, working with four modes and the last but not least using a good exposition of your objective. In my next slide here, I will talk about five steps for technical writing. In first, a thinking. Second step, gathering information what you have a plan it it could form it could be a different form of the informations assign assess and structure your material writing your documents what you need and what you're looking for and the last add it and finalize that is the five step of your to structure or your first step of writing a paper into my next here first ask yourself to complete your thinking what you have thinking about so this thinking have a 12 a different segment in order to drive a your technical write-up first you will think about objective of the investigation why you are doing what is the purpose why I am doing what my plan to deliver where I am at the moment and where I want to be Second, what have others done which is similar or related? 
Why did I follow this particular route of investigations? What are the principal governing the techniques? And what assumption did I make? And what were my justifications? And number six, what problem did I encounter during my thinking or during my compiling my paper or write up? If I will go to the next slide here. Okay, in this second here, what result did I obtain during my investigation? How did I solve the problems to deliver the results? How robust my data and analysis? The data confidence is very, very important. The confidence level on data accuracy. If your data is not accurate, you cannot achieve your results. So what exactly can I conclude? during my investigation what point will attract the criticisms to improve further or to open uh, other different corridors for further research what will i recommend during my investigation to improve what i have planned to do it so that is the very key elements the during the sixth element to think about to compile and to order your research work now okay now in this slide ensure your deliverables first clear structure consistency clarity first because it makes your writing easy to interpret so that is clear structures consistency because you look reliable by using a similar structure, style, tone and approach and the third clarity because it enables understanding outcomes and actions. And to principle take care of your writing first is the schemers, scanners and detail seekers. Schemers, you have to craft your writing and scheme up properly to overcome if there is any error. So the scanners to scan your writing skills, it should be readable, examined and must be readable and monitor if something gone bad or something gone wrong. Detail seekers to investigate or further seek if there is a, any error or erroneous. So must be properly mentioned what you have planned to do. So that is the three segments must talk to each other to to have a high quality your write up into next year structure the hourglass opening summary then most important informations which you have planned to deliver next most next and then summarize are your multiple sections which link up with your informations and deliver your objective as you have a plan that is your structure the hourglass how these uh, six segments are talking to each other in sequence opening summary most important information next most next segments summarize actions and link your objectives so summarize sections how these summarize sections and when you talk about the most important information you will segregate in different segments elements in order to understand and to simulate or to develop a uh, some confidence what my plan to deliver so then you can take the next most important step next and then summarize each sections what you have planned to deliver so into next slide the four writing modes of technical papers so four writing modes have constituted with a four a key elements of a technical papers the first layer it's called the expositions second descriptions third argument and persuasions fourth is narrative so these a four a key elements have a multiple layer to link with the your writing modes 
these are four modes of writings will drive your writing skills and to develop or your writing hypothesis what you want to deliver at the end of the paper so then it will develop your story or narrative now we will talk about our next slide now in my mode first is called the exposition means expounding something so the exposition features and good expositions in the first we will talk about exposition feature the context defining introductions simple sentence paragraph and structure cause and effect with each point develop through and supported by the previous subheading and numbered points facts figure and visual material to achieve the clarity which i talked about into the clarity it enable understanding and outcomes and actions what you want to deliver in good exposition must have a three key element explain potentially unknown concept takes reader through the points in logical order ambiates necessary background information that is a part of good expositions if we will talk about the mode to mode mode to descriptive write simple describe a place person or situation it often involves vignettes first a typical features adjective and adverbs analogy verb vocabularies an adjective describes noun and pronouns and adverbs describe a verb or anything apart from noun or pronouns into second segments that is analogy a comparison it demonstrate a comparative analysis one thing to another typically purpose of explanation or clarification etc so in the web vocabularies it will demonstrate you as an objective that describe bold and state how the things happen in intense feeling or an image in your mind that so clear you can almost touch it that is web vocabulary in the part of your typical features into good descriptive writing is really engaging paints a picture in the minds eye of the readers why he want to read and what we want to deliver in order to have a good descriptive writing skills okay now in the mode 3 it's called the argument and persuasions typical feature of an argument the first stating a your opinion with reason disapproval and contrary arguments and then we will talk about getting readers by choosing points opponents will find difficult to reject then demonstrate a strong logical progression on ideas and initial look to engage the readers topic and sentences that is the the, the typical feature of persuasions the initial looking to engage the readers topic sentences then uh, repetitions of keywords wavered and engaging vocabulary appeal to logic facts illustrations that typical feature of persuasions and the last but not least good argument of persuasions is changing hearts and minds mobilize people around uh, on concept to attract the reader to deliver what my plan and why i am going to do it so that is call or uh, the third mode argument and persuasions of your technical write up no we will talk about number fourth is four mode narrative described an event or story typical feature of a narrative sentence length and pace to create what have done so far then structure build to a climax to attract the audience to attract the readers direct or reported speech can be written from any starting points so that is the key typical feature of a narrative or story when we have developed and the last good narrative will take care of following three segments take readers on a journey 
explain a wider content, presents a greater insight or truth, so the reader should have a confidence the what technical research has been done, ha, it has a lot of weightage and worth to implement, to read it and to a research if it's a doable. So then at the last now in my, in my this slides of my technical writing good topics and tenses. First segments or first elements are good topics and tenses my introduce every paragraph give readers an idea of what the entire paragraph is about lend structure to the sentences that follow enable readers to skim read a document or mark of a well written document that your topic sentences must link to each other to demonstrate as we have described into five elements into my next slide here. Now in this slide improve your language and style. First use short sentences and paragraph. Stick to simple everyday words. Vary sentences length. Be specific. Use verbs not nouns. Work with the active voice. Write appropriate headings and last not least a be consistent. This was uh, my last slide of my writing or technical paper techniques. Thank you very much for your important time. You have devoted to see my lectures and I am waiting your input feedback to improve further. Thank you very much. So you can see my next slide here. So your feedback comments please send me on t.masood.dr at bath.edu. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.